model comparisons. And the last bit is to go with saving the model and how we save the model predictions. So in your data turn, you need to provide, you need to up, upload the model predictions together. And I'll show you how to do that in this section. Okay, so saving the predictions. Now let's look at our prediction. So why predict gives you the predictions that we did. And I'll select the first 10 values. So that's a list of values and an array of values. And if we want to save it, we can convert it to a data frame. We, we first put it to a dictionary. So we have predictions and why predict as this list. And then we convert it to a CSV and then we save it as prediction as one. And we put the index to false because we don't need uh, an extra column at the beginning. So I use files.download in Google Colab because if you can download it to your local machine once you use files.download. So let's see what this file looks like. Right, so everyone can see this file, right? So we have the MLP ETS predictions, and we have the predictions header with all the prediction values. So in case you are asked not to provide the header, you can put header to false and you can download it again. And you can download the data set without the header. So this is what you can upload to Kaggle for their evaluations. Or you can use NumPy. So I haven't downloaded it. If you want, we can download it here. You can copy this code and we can use NumPy and provide a delimiter comma and we can, uh, as an argument, we can put the, the array and we can download it. Okay, so we have the same data set. We, we looked at three methods to download. So that's downloading the model prediction. And the next part is saving the model. So why do we really need to save a model? We have it here, right? But what if somebody wants it to incorporate it into their website and maybe do their own recommendations on some new data? And maybe you need to give this model to someone else. So you can download the model itself with all the parameter values uh, using Pickle. There are also other methods like JobRip. I haven't showed you here, uh, but you can use Pickle and save the model. So to save the model, we use import Pickle and we use Pickle.dump. And this is our model uh, that we built before. And then we give the model name and we want to save it as a .sav file and we write the bytes. So that's what it means by WB, we write the byte value. And then we can download the model here. So I have it downloaded here. So I have to, so it downloads. And if you want to load the model, you can use pickle.load. So you can use this read bytes and load the model. And then if you want to make some predictions, so let's take our X tester that we made earlier and we use the, this. MLPTS loaded model to make the predictions. And let's look at the loaded model prediction, the root mean square error. And it should be the same as what we built here in the notebook. So it's 2.18. It is what we got here as well. Right. So yeah, that's basically saving the model. So you can save the model using Picker. And you can read more about Pickle. I'll, I'll provide links here so you can read more on that. Okay, so, right, that's basically what we cover in the workshop. So we looked at different approaches for regression and time series forecasting. And we looked at how to split the data in a meaningful way. So in basic regression, we can do a random splitting, but in time series forecasting, you need to be careful and you need to split the data properly. So we looked at how to predict on the test set and we looked at different evaluation techniques and then to how to compare these models. 
then finally to save models and the predictions. Um, but this is a one hour session and we haven't covered many things. So we haven't talked about parameter tuning, what cross validation is, different variable scalings and normalizations. And there are a lot more models that you can explore. So uh, when you're working in data science, you can, you have to uh, understand these concepts. And as the previous speakers told you before, you have to read and you have to get your hands on to understand uh, these concepts. I hope I uh, taught you something and there's something, some takeaway from here. Yeah, that's it from me. Yeah, thank you for having me.